In this video, we'll take a look at the Simple Report Setup Wizard for academic reports. The wizard is created specifically for primary schools or K-12 schools that use the primary style report for their primary classes. This wizard is helpful when your school is new to Central and you're creating your first reports, or if you need to hand over the job of creating reports to someone new to the process, or if you're just looking for a simple report setup. Navigate to Academic Reports and then Academic Reports Setup. In this example, you can see some historical reporting periods already set up. To create a new reporting period using the Simple Report Setup wizard, click Create Reporting Period. Then click Simple Report Setup. The process follows the workflow indicated by these icons. To get started, enter the name of the reporting period you wish to create. Ensure you select the appropriate year, semester, date range and classes. Then click Next. In the Assessment section, you'll need to make selections for the subjects, scales and attitudes to learning. In the Subject tab, use the Curriculum filter to select the relevant subjects to report on. Make your selections and then click Next. In the Scales tab, choose the relevant option and then click Next. Attitudes to learning will be specific to your school and you can enter them here. You need to enter an attitude subgroup and then the attitudes within each subgroup. This is an example of what that might look like. The subgroups are shown here, and the attitudes within each subgroup are shown here. I'll replicate this first one in the current example for this video. Then click Next. In the Activities tab, you'll need to choose either the Manual Entry or Automatic Import. Choose Manual Entry if your school doesn't use the Activities module, or there's an activity you want to include that hasn't been set up through the Activities module. Enter a name for the activity, and to add further activities, use this button. Choose Automatic Import if your school uses the Activities module. Select the filters for Year and Cycle, and then click Refresh List. Select the relevant activity, and then click Next. In the Attendance tab, make the appropriate selections, then click Next. In the Layout section, choose how many signatures you would like to add to the report. Make the appropriate selections, and click Next. In the final section, make selections to specify the colour scheme for your report. You can then click this button for a preview of what your report will look like. When you've made all your selections, click Save and Finish. Your reporting period is now created. From here, you can then continue working in your newly created reporting period.